Hi, and welcome to a quick clip about downloading ebooks from EBSCOhost, one of our ebook providers. We have other ebook providers such as eBerry and eLibrary that are more popular, and most of the ebooks on EBSCOhost are from before 2005. So, if the steps you see in this video don't look like what you see on your screen, you'll probably want to try one of the other videos. On the main ebook screen, you'll see some basic information such as title, author, publication date, and some other details. Before you can download, you'll need to sign in with EBSCOhost, so let's do that first. In the upper right of the screen, you'll see a link that says Sign In. Click on it, and if you have already followed these steps before and made an EBSCOhost ID, you can put it in now. Otherwise, in the upper right, you'll see a link that says Create New Account. Once you've clicked that link, you will have a chance to put in your information. You don't have to use your JC number and password, but it's one less ID and password to remember. Fill in the boxes, including your secret question, and say Save Changes. On the next screen, choose Continue. You can now download the book. On the left side of the screen, you'll see a link that says Download this ebook offline. What it means is that you can download the book and read it offline. Otherwise, you can read the ebook right now by choosing ebook in full text, but that's only for if you're online. Let's say we want to download. To read this book, you'll need an e-reader program such as Adobe Digital Editions 2.0 if you have a PC or Mac, or the Blue Fire Reader if you have a mobile device. If you haven't already downloaded one of these, see our other YouTube clips on the slipguide before you download the book. As long as you have Adobe Digital Editions or the Blue Fire Reader, you can choose how long you want your loan to last, and then click Check Out and Download. When Firefox asks you, say you want to open with Adobe Digital Editions 2.0 and hit OK. Your book will download and open automatically in Adobe Digital Editions or in the Blue Fire Reader if you're on a mobile device. I do need to mention one quick note about EBSCOhost eBooks and Adobe Digital Editions, and that is that in their normal screen view, they look really, really small. The way to fix this is by going to the upper right corner to the icon that looks like a little page, just to the left of the search box. It has a little drop-down arrow. Choose that and say, Fit Width. The pages will then adjust to the size of the e-reader, and you should be able to read them. If you have any troubles with downloading, contact InfoHelp, and good luck and happy reading!